Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, I am going to show you how to rewrite any uh, trinomial, the quadratic trinomial, into a perfect square. So the very first thing we have to look for our leading coefficient. As you can see over here, the leading coefficient is 2. I want you to just write it down somewhere here we need that one okay make sure you just write it down the next step is let's pretend that this given expression equal to zero so we are doing this step just for our convenience to make our job a lot easier okay the next thing is i want to make sure is the next step is make sure that our leading coefficient is 1. To make the leading coefficient 1 is just simply divide this term by 2. If you divide this term by 2, you must divide by 2 across the board, each and every term. So this is simply is going to become x squared minus 4x plus 7 over 2 equal to 0. So the next step is we want to make sure that we have only x variables on the left hand side. So that means this 7 over 2 must go on the other side. So that means we got x squared minus 4x equals to negative 7 over 2. Our next step, I want you to just focus on this one over here. Look at the coefficient of x, which is negative 4. Let's focus on only 4. Don't worry about this negative sign. Let's put down 4 somewhere here. I'm going to put down 4 and then divide whatever this number by 2. Once you divide this thing, 4 divided by 2 is going to be 2. And then finally, we are going to square this thing. So this number, whatever we got, we are going to add on both sides of this equation. So let's go ahead and do this thing. x squared minus 4x plus equal to negative 7 over 2 plus. Now I'm going to add this 2 square on this side. 2 square on this side and 2 square on this side. Let's focus on the left hand side of this equation. This left hand side represents a perfect square, a complete square. So we're going to use this well known formula for that thing. Let's go ahead and take care of this one. So I can write this as x minus 2 square. So once again, let me tell you where this thing, this x showed up right up here, this positive 2 showed up right here, and whatever this sign is, that's going to be in the middle between them. So equals to, I can write this thing 7 over 2 plus, by the way, this is negative 7 over 2 plus 4. Let's go ahead and now simplify this part. And here I copy down this, this stuff over here. We're going to simplify it. I can write this 4 as, as a fraction 4 over 1. Let's simplify these two fractions, add them up. I want you to crisscross. Just cross multiply them. Negative 7 times 1 is going to be negative 7 and then whatever this sign plus sign 2 times 4 is 8 divided by whatever these two numbers at the denominator you just multiply them that's going to be a 2. So simply we got 1 over 2 as our simplified form. So I can write on this side as let me just go ahead and just put it down this one right up here. I am going to write down over here x minus 2 square equals to 1 over 
2. So far so good. I want you to move this 1 over 2 on the other side. So this is simply is going to become x minus 2 simply square minus 1 over 2 equal to 0. Finally, this is what we're going to do. I want you to just simply disregard this 0. We no longer need it. We only got this part only. We got x minus 2 square minus 1 over 2. And as you recall, in the very first step, we observed that our leading coefficient was 2. Do you remember that one? So our final step is going to be whatever this number 2, I want you to just simply multiply by these two terms. I'm going to multiply this one by 2 and I want to multiply by this one too as well. So that is simply is going to give you when you multiply this that's going to give you 2 times x minus 2 square minus. This 2 and 2 cancels out. Simply we got 1. So this 2 times x minus 2 square minus 1 represents a perfect square. So thus 2x square minus 8x plus 7 can be rewritten as this new thing, okay, as a perfect square. And finally, here is your assignment. Can you rewrite this given quadratic trinomial into a perfect square? You can take your time. You can pause the video. Luckily, I have already uploaded this video as well. Go ahead and check it out and see the correct answer. Thanks for watching. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.